Let me grab a hold of these weights real quick and start warming up. There's some shoulders and arms. All right, so I'm overweight, right? Not obese, but I notice your belly looks huge and sits outward when I poke it or squeeze it. The fat is not much and I can feel my abs. What is that? I mean, you can also have fat in, like, you know, I mean, let me try to remember what it's called. It's not, it's not, it's not like, you know, you don't have body fat just sitting outside your body. You also store some body fat, like, within your body, right? There's a word for it. I just forget what it's called right now. But yeah, you have that too. Yep. Yeah, there's, I mean, that, because that fat, like, helps protect, like, your intestines and stuff. Visceral is what it's called, yeah. Visceral body fat, yeah. How do I feel about keto? I'm not personally a big fan of it, but if it's something that helps you comfortably, comfortably maintain a deficit by giving you an energy balance that you like and eating foods that you like, go for it. But I, I don't person for it. I, even when I'm dieting, I like to keep my carbs pretty high for training purposes and energy purposes and just food selection and whatnot, but you could try it. But as I always say, it's very important that you understand the basics of fat loss, which is deficit of calories. You can type exclamation mark fat loss for that, but yeah, if you wanna do keto or intermittent fasting, go for it. Uh, it doesn't really provide you with like a, a particular advantage for fat loss. Like you're not gonna lose more fat doing it than just staying in a deficit otherwise. But it makes it easier for you to be in a deficit to go for it, yeah. Just like if I eat carbs, like pasta and bread, I get so drained and bloated, then that's a fine reason for you to not do that. Yeah, if certain foods make you not feel the way you want to feel, then don't eat them, yeah. Yep. The principle for losing visceral body fat is the same? Yeah, your body just pulls, pulls fat from your body, that's how it is, yeah. Just gotta be in a deficit, yep. So if you stay in a deficit long enough, your body will lose fat from everywhere, yep. Yep. How do I advise about how to deal with lower back pain and training? I've been trying, but puts too much strain if I move big weights. Uh, I would focus on moving lighter weight with better form. And if lower back pain is an issue for you, then I would find ways of training and strengthening your glutes and hamstrings and your core. I feel like if building, making, you know, stronger glute muscles, stronger hamstrings, then stuff is gonna help you blow back a lot. But also do to know, do use better form and lighter weight until until you know what you're doing and it, until it feels good. But like I said, glutes definitely can help with having you know your lower back feel better. Building up glute muscles and hamstring muscles that'll help. Yup. We got pretty good results from low carb diets, but with the caveat that you'll be pretty low energy most of the time. See, it, it just depends. Cause like if you, if you, I mean, in a deficit of calories, you are structuring your energy such that you are, you know, eating less energy than you use. But you absolutely can get to a good point where you still feel good in a deficit, right? Like I've been feeling great in a deficit recently. With my diet the way it is, I've been feeling great. So, it's very interesting how it works. But there might be a little bit of trial and error to, to, to figure out what diet feels good for you. And it might not always be the same thing, you know? Interesting. Well, thanks, Mo. Yeah, a little bit of a, a, little bit of a mini cut recently has helped me sharpen up. I feel like I look a little small sometimes, yeah, especially in the morning, first thing in the morning. I look a little small, but you know. I feel like the mini cut has been the right move recently because my body is responding well to it. I feel good, I have good energy. Uh, I'm feeling pretty good, but thanks. You slept in a terrible position and completely killed your lower back. Okay, well that's a different sort of thing. <laughs> if you just slept weird and hurt your back, that's one thing, but yeah, just in general, having like your, building up glutes and hamstrings is good. At the end show, it's really fun. We won a ton of games, and then, well, like with S-Fan, not in the call, and then he joined the call and we lost like every game for like an hour. It was so weird, but it was fun. Uh, it was all good. That was pretty funny though. <laughs> it's like, wait, how, what happened? <laughs> why, why, 
It was like a super unlucky streak. It was just funny. But TBC, like rating doesn't really matter all that much. You maybe get a, a few more points for the week, but this one's just for fun. Music Bork, maybe. What am I gonna join OTK? There have been, there's been no discussion of that so far. <laughs> yeah, pelvic tilt as well. Heard that's fifth by training. Who's that correct? I'm not sure, but I feel like building a bigger, stronger glute hamstring. Yeah, is the music bored? What the heck's, what the heck's going on here? Oh, what is wrong with you? Apparently the Bluetooth just like disconnected or something. Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Bluetooth? I don't know. There's been, there's been no discussion of me joining on TK. I'm interested in talking about it, but yeah. But anyway, building your glutes is good. Yes, it's good for lower back. Yeah. It definitely. Definitely. Yeah, I, I don't know what all that would entail, so. I mean, I want to be in charge of my own sponsors and stuff, but just like, you know, I like those guys. I like what they're doing, so that's kind of a cool discussion, but there's been no talks about that so far. Uh... Yeah, building glutes, that's good stuff. Some of the games and game shirts and shorts. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <sighs> yeah the diet's been good, though. Uh, I've been enjoying it. I've actually been feeling really good doing it, so. Like I said, I'm trying to increase my calories slowly over time, and I am. But we're still in a small deficit, which, once again, honestly feels fine. I feel like I'm eating plenty and like feeling good with the foods I'm eating, so. All good. Sharpening up a little bit is not a bad thing. Uh, not a problem. I don't feel like real weak doing what I'm doing or anything, so that's good. Workouts have been good. Hunger, energy's been good, sleep's been good, so I mean, and I like what I'm doing, I like the way the physique is kind of tightening up, so. I think we just gotta follow that, right? Follow the good vibes. And then, over the winter time, if we wanna put a little more, you know, by that time we'll probably be working our way into a surplus, and we'll start gaining some weight, and that'll be good too. I want to do it from like a, a little bit of a leaner starting point, basically. Which is fine. All good.
trying to see clothes on. Okay. You get your shorts on, good job, boy. Good job, Archer. You get his shorties on. Yeah, I don't really usually wear a lot of tank tops, but I really like the, the, the fit of these and the feel. I think I still look, you know, kind of like a potato in a tank top, but I like these ones. I do, they're nice. Oh, and the shorts are my favorite shorts that I own. I have a bunch of different ones. Yeah, definitely like really good sun shirts. The, the material is really lightweight, and feels good, very comfortable. That's good. I just need to grab my stuff. There he is. Right okay, I need the shorts on. Yeah. Yeah, I'll put this big one down. I'm sorry, I'm big, So I can see the big boy. I'm missing. Yeah. Hey, we're working on the jean. Look at clean. Archer, you're getting so tall. Look at clean. A big hug. Oh. That's my baby boy. Daddy. he's clean. Yeah. Daddy's working out in the gym. Daddy clean. That's a big way, huh? Daddy lifts it up to the bar. Big boy. Let's go, little tins. He's running around in the jeans. Daddy is clean. Oh my goodness. That money. Daddy is clean today, apparently. Daddy's, you, you look my, you like my, uh, you like my fit today? You think I think it looks clean? He does not like the towel on that thing, though. Hey, kitty. Get up on the, on the bench there, kitty. He chucked it that towel off of there. Uh, Daddy's gonna do some fingerhead presses, it looks like, huh? Yeah, eventually. Okay. I can do dumbbells for a bit while the kitty does his thing. Oh! Awesome, I was like, yeah, I feel pretty good. Yeah. Feel pretty good. Eventually, the uh, calories will come to the point where I'm in a surplus. We're like, not quite there yet, but that's fine. Like I've been talking about this whole time, I feel pretty good in the deficit that we're in right now. My body seems to be responding really well to it. It seems to be enjoying it, so that's good. Let me give your pets to the kitty. So we'll keep working on it, you know? Just enjoying the summertime, staying a little, staying a little leaner for summer, I suppose. slow, but I don't think I've lost too much. Workout's still been really good. I was a little bit aggressive with the mini cut for like a couple months, but now we're definitely kind of in a smaller deficit. Maybe we're probably week doing what we're doing, but the calories will come up over time too. Right now, it's getting warmed up. Ugh. Getting the morning pumps. Get ready for some shoulders. I took someone who has a hard time getting their glutes apart and lost deadlifts. Widen your stance out and push your hips through. That's the main thing. Learn, learn how to use your glutes for doing other movements too. Yeah, getting a wider stance and learn how to push your glutes through is good. Your hip, push your hips through. And you can do that with body weight squats too. A nice wide stance. Oh, wow. Learn what it feels like to sit the weight on your glutes. <laughs> oh. 
You want to get down? Don't let him do it. Don't let him like flip or something. <laughs> big bench, 450, jeez. And you come up? Big bench. It's a big lift. No matter what. Maybe it's not that much on the leg press, but. This is a lot of weight for a bench press. Oh, Kitty's gonna work on the laundry. Okay, Kitty. On the washing machine. Sounds good, Kitty. Which I usually squat pretty wide, but I'm gonna start practicing a little bit wider stance on deadlifts too. And use the glutes. Glutes are big, strong mover muscles, man. If you can build them up and, and harness them, it's good. And like we were talking about a second ago, it's probably one of the main ways to keep your back, your lower back healthy too, right? Well, you see, we didn't we didn't ban you, but we timed you out, and you're kind of still bringing the same kind of like weird memes, so I think we probably will ban you this time, man. I think you know what you're doing. Who knows a big surprise to anybody? Oh, trying to be kind of like edgy and stuff. Oh my goodness, not really the right move here, right? More of a sumo deadlift than normal deadlift? Yeah, so my, my hands will be sort of like, like down here, right? So my arms will be inside my knees instead of outside. But I'm not doing like a super wide stance sumo. I'm just doing a, a a stance and a grip that feels good to me. So, that's what I'm gonna do. Is that a shaker bottle? Carbs, EAAs, tiny bit of caffeine. I, I mean, I definitely do. Y you can see that I'm not doing six to eight reps, <laughs> high weight. Oh, not over raises. I definitely do higher weight, or sorry, higher rep, lighter weight, but that's part of the warm up. But yeah, just in general, I don't really do a lot of super heavy stuff on the, uh, like, Shoulder isolation movements. Sure thing, Tim. Yeah, man. Let's make it happen, dude. That was fun. More RPGs would be great, man. Be fun. So, yeah, somewhere in the middle. I'm, I, I'm just kind of taking a comfortable stance that allows me to activate my uh, my glutes and feel good. I think there's there's probably value to that. Kind of experimenting with different stances and kind of just see what feels good, right? I mean, I think in general, I don't usually do really heavy stuff for isolation. Just in general, right? I don't think so. But yeah, if you type exclamation mark subs, Chrome, you can look at a more in-depth video of my subs. Yeah. You can turn the fan off if you want to. I'll get out of your way. You can turn the fan off. This boy, you see that? You get the fuss up? That's fine. I'm not going to put the on this bar though, bud. I'll get warmed up. Oh my God, you fan. Yeah. There we go. Oh, let me go find your screen. Yeah, Jenny's got that stylish comfort look going on what? all the time. You like my, like, my pants? Like your pants. <laughs> my fluffy, fl floating, fluffy pants. Comfort couture. Comfort couture. <laughs> With this hair too. Look at this. I woke up like this, okay? Oh, 
Got like a go-to bad food, like a weakness? No. No, the best, the thing that I like the most is finding good foods that make me feel good and taste good and stick to that. So not really. It's not right now. I'm in a pretty, I'm in a really good spot with my diet right now. So. I know it makes me feel good. Sticking to that has allowed me to kind of feel good, look good, and kind of just stay in rhythm, man. So when you're, when you're at that point, there, there's, you don't want to mess that up by doing, eating cruddy food, you know? So, I'm in a good spot right now. Why the half reps? Just little squeezies. So, my bicep is like about fully contracted right here. Like right there? That's a pretty full contraction. So, it might look like a half rep, but. I mean, that, that's, that right there is a, is a pretty full contraction, right? Going a whole lot further is just putting pressure on the, on the tendon. Eating is where you struggle the most. You're suffering from massive meals. Well, start tracking your intake. Having a massive meal isn't necessarily a problem if it fits in your whole plan for the day. And if you're trying to make gains and gain calories, then it's probably a good thing. You don't have to be in deficit. But you should be tracking your intake so you know what you're doing. So you can work towards your goals if you ever develop them. Well, that'd be a good idea. You don't need to be lean all the time. I am not lean all the time. I spend a lot of time in a surplus trying to make some gains and have a little bit more body fat. I'm working my way back into a surplus right now, too. But you also have control over what you eat, right? Like you can you can give yourself some 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 credit when it comes to discipline, right? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, this is a good spot. I love I love the way I'm eating right now. This feels really good for me, and I like the food. So, and I like the, how I feel on it. You know, this is good stuff. Being a little bit leaner during the summertime is nice too. So, I'm doing good. But it's all doing the same thing I always done, just just the numbers, right? I'm finding different foods that kind of fit my fancy at the moment, but still fit the goals and how I want to feel. Yeah, man, that's how it is. But yeah, I mean, I like to eat too. So I'm with you. But, you know, eating factors into my effectiveness in my training and my, my work and my sleep, so yeah. Do I do laser therapy for my neck? No, I don't shave every day either. You know, like the back of my neck? I need to razor shave my head hair again pretty soon, but no. But neither, I guess. Small, small steps is generally the plan that aren't too drastic, Matt. Yep. Yep. Yeah, whatever allows you to be consistent. But like you're saying, another part of what you're saying without actually like typing it is, you gotta change your mindset, you know what I mean? You gotta really be diligent about the goal because it's gonna take a long time. So you gotta make the commitment ahead of time and then slowly make changes towards it, yeah. But it does take a commitment, right? You gotta be ready for the long haul. But yeah, like you're saying, small adjustments over time, absolutely. To allow for sustainability, yep. Indeed. 
I mean, for me, I can just change my diet, bang, on a dime, but like, I have practice, right? But I will say that is more, that is usually less comfortable to, to just, you know, slam a surplus or slam a big deficit. Working into it is generally more comfortable. If it's more comfortable, it's probably more sustainable too, right? So you're not redlining your discipline constantly. Because you don't have to feel bad in, in a diet. You don't have to be like hungry and tired all the time. Similarly, if you're trying to gain weight, you don't have to feel stuffed and feel sick all the time from eating a bunch, right? So. Exactly. You just work up through over time. You know, by adding calories slowly or subtracting calories slowly, absolutely. Yep. That tends to be the advice that I give. But yeah, you gotta be ready to commit long term. And take, you know, take the good days and the bad days. And just every day is a new day, you know? Just get after it. seek the help of like supplements but could could but those aren't usually good nutrition but if you just need a bunch of calories this would be ice cream Ugh. You guys doing okay out there? What's going on? Bonking every step. That big old, big old instruction vehicle out there. I think we're maybe getting, getting a pool put in. Nice. <laughs> Faster and easier is the opposite of what we've been saying this entire time, Ben. <laughs> I mean, if you want to get into a 3,000 calorie surplus every day and get really fat really fast, it's up to you. <laughs> I mean, I, I know for a fact you've heard me talk about this stuff, and we were literally just talking about it, so. <laughs> you do you, man. You have been equipped with the knowledge. You do you. <laughs> Eating a bunch of shitty food to gain a whole lot of weight really fast is not generally what I recommend. But you do you, brother. <laughs> it's unlikely you lost 10 pounds of body mass over a short vacation anyway, right? So. I don't know if you really need to be in any kind of big rush to gain a whole bunch of weight back. Oh. There's probably way better sources of nutrition than mass gainers, but whatever. Uh. All right, let's do another set. 
set of these and then we'll probably put some weight on them. We try to help old Ben. Hard to tell if he's just constantly trolling or not. <laughs> just from it's hard to tell. But we try to help, we try to help. I did not see that, Lance, no. Sounds hype, though. A comic from Disturbed, that sounds cool. All right, I'm gonna go pee real quick, we'll keep on pumping. Thanks for watching, guys, BRB. Let's keep on pumping, BRB. Pumper reps. Yeah. All right. Great genetic cells, yeah. It does. But I don't know if I'll, I don't think I'm in that category. I've been training for 20 years and I only look like this. <laughs> Thankfully, my body seems to enjoy training and recovers from it half decently, so. Very grateful for that. But I'm not some kind of genetic freak. I don't think you're talking about me, but. Let's put that in perspective. Same pre roll ads for the hour and mid roll ads for the hours. So that's pretty good. How to maintain my beard just by not shaving it. That's pretty much the main thing. And it doesn't go anywhere if I don't shave it generally. <laughs> if I don't shave it, doesn't go anywhere. Throck, well, thanks so much for the prime, man. Big flex for the 22 months, dude. What's up, Sub Zero? Yep, keep on. Be consistent and progress, yep. That's right. 
And now I don't use beard oils now. I'm fine to do that, but no, I just haven't gotten into them. Probably would be good, but yeah, not really. I don't really do much for the beard, man. Bathe occasionally. <laughs> Got some beard butter for my brother-in-law that I like other than that. I don't usually use that, you know, in the morning, though. Thanks, John Z. Appreciate it, man. Working on it, dude. Working on it. Garbage day? Uh, no, some, I think there's like a big old construction vehicles outside. I think our, I think our neighbors might be getting a pool or something. So yeah, it might be loud while they're rolling them big old trucks around. Might be. Get a pool or something. They got all kinds of big old vehicles about archers pumped. Party time in this neighborhood, man. Party time. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel and interact with the videos when they get posted or else YouTube will probably never show them to you. <laughs> yep. Hey, we'll take a look. Check it out. Let's do just a teeny bit of this stuff. This last head. But yeah, if the, uh, if the construction stuff gets too loud, let me know. I'll close this front door. Probably help out a little bit.
Cool bucket, cool. Any fun working out with the, with the little bro? That's awesome. That'd be super fun. You mean that lift? Not much. <laughs> Not much. We're just gonna get warmed up and get some reps in. Not a real strong overhead press. But, wanna get better at it? I guess we'll do it, huh? Yeah. What set system do I, do I roll with? Oh. Uh, mostly kind of just start off light and then kind of pyramid up the working sets. Up. As the weight goes up, the ribs come down a little. I know, that's so sad, Bucky. That really sucks. I saw that yesterday. That really sucks. Very, very bummed about that. I mean, he had a positive impact when he was here, but it sucked. I mean, he's got a, his whole family, his boys are still really young. It's just really sad. It's not a positive impact, but damn. Tough. So that's a big bummer. But then, you know, the things that he, that he taught people will live on for a while, but that'll be missed. Definitely. You kind of look like me. Nice, nice. You should put some, uh, some progress pictures in the Discord. PCR pre workout, that's mostly carbohydrates. You can type exclamation mark subs for video. Yeah, intra workout is mostly carbohydrates. Some carbies. It's very loud, but it's not that loud, right? Yeah. If it's too annoying, let me know, but that's not what it's rolling with. It. All right. You can always just turn the music, too, right? Mm. 
least it was kind of like a peaceful thing, but... Okay, cool. Sounds right here. I get it. Big Curl Brothers today. Yep. Big old Curl Fest today. Arms and shoulders today. Big pumpers. Yeah, that's not too loud. We'll just roll with it then. Gonna take some work, but we're doing it. The fun thing about getting leaner is you can kind of like, you can kind of see some of the work. Long way to go, but yeah. Does we do dips? No, but I, it's usually elbows in situation. I don't do dips. Always have an elbow mat, so I just don't do them. Ugh. I would say if something consistently gives you issues and you've worked on your form and stuff, don't do it. You know. So dips are consistently giving you chest pain and your gut good form and stuff. Don't do them. Dips are good movement, but they're not so unique and invaluable that you can't do something else to build things that dips help with, right? Dips give you shoulder stuff? Yeah. Like I could probably do like a sort of partial range of motion supported dips, but I just don't know if it's even worth it. Things start feeling weird in the shoulder and whatnot. Yeah. Probably just not even worth it. 
Future, but that's yeah, definitely weird, but whatever. Thankfully, the shoulders aren't real strong, but they haven't been, you know, plagued with injury or anything. Just probably just trained, really. If anything, it's under trained. So, been hitting pretty hard for a while now, and hopefully, we'll be able to continue to build a Nice, healthy relationship with those shoulders. <laughs> Make some gains. That's weird, Hill. I feel like I've always had real strong, like, pec tendons and stuff. They just got a little strained. Doing them in a weird way. Let's see. I think this thing is probably done charging for now. We were actually talking about that yesterday, Desik. Like, how sleeping weird can get your shoulders messed up? Huh. It's funny. It sucks that it happens, but it's just kind of funny that we were talking about yesterday. Why stay natural? I mean, there's a lot of reasons. One, I just don't want to go through the fuzz. Clean up my peak? I don't know, man. I, I disagree. I think I can get a lot stronger and a lot bigger. But no reason to put my health at risk just for a particular physique. I mean, I'd much rather be able to train and enjoy the work for like my whole life and be around for my family and not have to be on drugs forever. It's just go through all the fuss, all like the, the, the financial costs, the physical, emotional, psychological costs. That's not worth it, man. What I know I can make plenty of gains naturally still. You might, I mean, I appreciate you thinking I look good by saying I'm at my peak, but this is not even my final form, I assure you that. I have a ton of room to improve. A ton of room to improve. But yeah, I mean, I love training. I love the the daily activity of getting in the gym and how that helps me be who I want to be and feel good. And I wouldn't want to take anything that would put that risk. Just have like a, a short physique boost, right? It's not worth it. But I competed natural drug tested shows anyway, so. Don't need to take drugs to compete. And if you're not taking drugs to compete, then why why would you bother, right? Why would you put your health at risk for no reason, you know? Like I said, I want to be around for my family, and I want to be, you know, a hundred years old kicking ass in the gym still, you know? So I don't think drugs are helpful for that. I'm only 31 years old. Testosterone's in a perfectly healthy place. Why put it all that at risk? I guess, does that answer your question? Woo. Watch that 2014, thanks man. Appreciate it. Ugh. Yeah. We're not, we're not anywhere close to my peak. I mean, I can get way stronger. And way bigger, yep. Who doesn't even think about that? We talk about that almost every day, okay? See me a lot bigger? Well, yeah. I, I've been I've been dying down a little bit for the mini cut. Oh, I mean, I waited at 192 this morning, so I'm pretty pretty low, right? Pretty low body weight, but you know, we've been doing a mini cut, and even though my calories are coming up, I'm still in a small deficit, so. I'm not gonna get competition lean or anything, but definitely not as heavy. Can I come here every day? Yeah, it's okay. No, don't, don't take medicine you don't need, I would say. Start doing TRT, you're gonna be on uh, TRT for the rest of your life. And like I'm saying, my testosterone is in a perfectly healthy place, so I'm good. Grab up the calories slowly? Yeah. 
we'll get some gains going. I mean, I feel really good with what I'm doing, nervous, but yeah, I'm just not in any rush. We're still in a small deficit, but you know, I'm eating 2,800 to 3K a day right now, so it's not like I'm eating a low amount of food, right? I'm just not in a surplus yet. So the weight will still come down a little. My training's feeling good, the food's going in smooth, so. Yep, all right on track, really. Uh, just, oh, stay on this one, right? Yep, feeling good. Staying with it. But yeah, I mean, I, I've, as you said, you seem seen a bit a lot bigger. I was a lot bigger than, I was 25 pounds heavier, you know, three months ago, so. <laughs> You know what I mean? So yeah, a bit bigger. Three months ago, <laughs> 220. Four months ago was in the powerlifting meet, so. Yo. It's funny how to change your diet, things, your body changes right along with it, right? Like we always talk about. Kind of funny. I was 210, 220, right, but that's like a super normal weight for me if I just eat more, right? So doing a mini cut, my weight comes down, which is the idea, right? And I'm in control of that, it's not, not random, right? It's exactly what I wanted to do. Lost about two pounds a week for, you know, three months and slowly working calories up so I'm not jumping into a surplus so I continue to lose a little bit of weight. Stay lean, feel good. Yeah. What's up, Bruno? Thanks for the prime, man. Good to see you, dude. All, all pretty much what we're looking to do here, so right on track. The diet that I'm doing right now is just feeling great. My food selection and everything is just nice. What is a deficit when losing two pounds a week? Well, that is, the deficit is 7,000 calories, but that's how deficit works. Two pounds a week is a 7,000 calorie deficit for everybody. The, the amount of calories I was eating to get in that deficit was about 2,500. That might not be the same for everybody. But yeah, one pound of fat loss is about 3,500 calories for everybody. Do I think that the pandemic will, comp will prevent me from competing forever? I mean, obviously not. Forever? I don't think so. How many times will you be MR? I think you might not know some of what some of the terms I'm using mean. Being in a 7,000 calorie deficit for the week means I'm 7,000 calories below the amount of calories I use. That's what that means. That's what that's what that deficit means. A deficit between what your body uses and what you eat. Take on zeros. We just we just get talked about that, which is not uncommon, but not interested. Not worth it. Cuts potentially cuts your life short. Like we're talking about today, John Meadows, love that guy. Such a positive influence on the, on the fitness community. Uh, but it, it seems likely to me that he committed himself to the bodybuilding lifestyle and committed himself to lifelong drug use and built an awesome physique, learned a lot, helped a lot of people, but potentially cut his time short with his family, you know? Like, I don't want to speak ill of the guy, but that's just like a real, a real thing to consider, a real thing to learn. It's really sad.
and I don't want to do that. I mean, stuff happens no matter what. Stuff happens. But, like, if you can take, if you can make decisions that don't put your time with your family at risk, then maybe you do that, right? A thousand calories per day? Yeah, it would even out to that. Correct, yep. Correct. Oh. Yep. Correct. About a thousand calories per day. So I was eating about 2,500 per day, and I was probably all together my body using with exercise or just whatever it takes to run my body was about 3,500 calories. So, yep. Yep. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah, that's a bummer, Sludge. That sucks. That's a big bummer. Oh. Yeah. What's my take saying of Dorian Yates and any type of athlete of any sports taking some sort of PED? That doesn't seem unlikely. In, in certain sports, for sure. Oh. You're skinny. So you're probably, you know, 900 calorie diet because sometimes people are hitting that. Well, you're skinny because you're in a 900 calorie diet. I'm probably hitting that. <laughs> That's why you're skinny. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta spend time working those calories up until every time. You're, you're probably doing that just fine, though, but yeah. Those, those two things are not unrelated. Right? That's my pins. There we go. My little thing goes. Uh. Uh, those are not unrelated. Gotta get some more food in you. It does, uh, that, I agree. Don Meadows was a really, seemed like a really, really good guy. And I'm, I'm very sad for, for his family. Cause he had, he had two young boys, man. That really sucks. Really sad, you know. So I'm, I'm definitely, you know, thinking of him and his family today for sure. Definitely. Very, very sad. People talking to get more calories in per day. What do you recommend? More meals per day or bigger meals? But what, what sounds good to you? I mean, like just adding a, adding a few calories per meal, like adding one more serving of butter. How many, I mean, how many meals do you eat per day? <clears throat> like adding one cup of rice per meal, or, half, or even half a cup of rice per meal isn't really that much. Adding 14 grams of butter per meal isn't really that much. And if you add half a cup of rice and 14 grams of butter per meal, and you eat like four meals a day, that's 800 more calories, right? than you were eating before, and you're hardly gonna feel that. Probably. Yeah, how, how's Quinn's diet going? He looks, looks like he's pretty lean. If he's been hammering away on, you know, 12 to 300 calories a day, he's probably gonna keep trimming out. How's he doing? Currently eating three meals a day, but I think it won't be good if I wanna bulk up. Have you ever seen that exclamation mark bulk video after rate? I just want to make sure you understand what matters. And did you hear what I just told you? Because you want me to tell you, oh, pasta is good for bulking up. And you're like, okay, cool. I'll eat pasta and bulk up. But that's not what I just said. What I told you is what actually matters. So let, let's make sure we're on the right track here. It's the amount of calories you eat that's going to determine whether you grow or not. So you need to find a way to get more calories in. What I just suggested was going to do it, right? I said what I said, yeah, exactly. 
Don't ask me a question and ignore the answer because it doesn't align with the misconception that you expect me to tell you, right? So go ahead and type exclamation mark bulk in the chat, watch that video, then listen to what I just told you, and then hopefully we can process that and work from there, okay? Let's try that. Oh. It's not like I'm going to add spoonfuls of dinosaurs because of that example. Well, why not? Why would you not do that? <laughs> but you should definitely track your calories. But like I said, 14 grams of butter and half a cup of rice is 200 calories. And if you add that to three or four meals a day, like I said, that's six to 800 calories more. So you're asking me, how can I eat more? There you go. Are you new here, Luder? Welcome, man. You and all the girls in eighth grade are all, and I guess a lot of people who are new, are all on my lashes. That's funny. I mean, like, do I, do you want me to do this? Like, it's just my eyeballs, dude. It's just how it is. Actually unfollowed, too. Yeah. And then he refollowed. Yeah, never mind. He has that refollowed. That's cinema. <laughs> I, the, the eyelashes are so luxurious. He had to leave a hater comment and then unfollow the stream. <laughs> About some of this, I am true. <laughs> it's like, what? People are so weird. <laughs> They're so weird. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's funny. So weird. Let's keep pumping. Oh man. This is just how my, my eyes are, man. No don't, don't reason to get mad about it. Ugh. Ugh. 
are so weird. Whew. It's fine, it's mostly just, um, mostly just ashwagandha. It's not gonna be a big test boost, but ashwagandha is kind of nice for, it's an herbal supplement for like well, general well-being and health, yeah. Sure, good. It's very inexpensive, Lowe. You can give it a try, see if you like it. Yep. Nothing that you buy from a supplement company is going to boost your testosterone unless it's illegal, right? <laughs> so, it's not my it's not my pool, but it's a neighbor's pool, yeah. Yep. That's the third mansion coming in. Yeah from my L'Oreal contract. Ugh. Does L'Oreal make makeup? Maybe. Maybe that's my Maybelline contract. Maybe I'm born with it. But maybe it's Maybelline. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it is. It's the, it's the super, it's their brand new secret product, sweat resistant Maybelline. Look, my all my eyeliner that I put on today, it doesn't come off at all. Sign me up, baby. Sign the contract this morning. This third mansion's going in this morning too. Feels good, man. Business is booming. <laughs> Business is booming. <laughs> yeah, what if, I, what, what if we didn't get sponsored by Maybelline? Not for the maybe it's Maybelline, but because it's the maybe he's born with it. It's like, well, you know, maybe he is. They gotta follow through with their slogan, right? So they got to spawn people who were just born with it too, right? You know what I mean? What are you trying to type, Nevitz? As a matter of fact, I am bored with it. You know, <laughs> they gotta follow through with their slogan. Man, and they really hit us up. Let's go. Jenny, Jenny's, she'll use the makeup. I'll be the, he's just bored with the part. Jenny is just bored with the natural beauty though, but she does enjoy makeup, so it'll be alright, be fun. Ugh. Are you asking? What makes you ask if I was involved with TGN, Nevitz? Oh. What makes you ask? Oh, oh man. Why so many reps? Because I'm doing shoulders. A lot of reps. Need a lot of them. What makes your ass, Nivitz? Oh. Oh. Been injured before? Nothing real major. Uh. No, legs are feeling good, Simon. Is that what you mean? Legs are feeling good. Maybe you put that. Maybe you phrase that a little differently there, Cinema. so much Quinn, I almost responded I could ask the same about your mom, but that's not my style. You know what I mean? <laughs> I've been watching way too much Quinn get toxic. <laughs> Gotta be careful. Sip it on some carbohydrates. This is good carbies. Quinn is so awesome with his chat, it's crazy. That's not my style though, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Once again, no true. I have personally, but I know your mom has, you know, you know what I'm saying? 
Like, listen, that's just, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. <laughs> Here we go. Don't do this to me. Oh, man. Jet, yep. Yep. That's from all my Blizz shill money. For the video I posted yesterday that Blizzard, you know, is currently, I'm under current contract to uh, play WoW and say nice things about it. It's my shill fees. That's paying for the private jet and the runway. Yep. So, it's a big construction day for us. Yep. Yep. Listen to check a bit late, yeah. Well, you know, I didn't post a video until yesterday, so. It's all good. My Maybelline contract and my Blizzard chill fees. Like I said, business is booming, so. Everything's coming along nicely right now, construction-wise, on, uh, on our private island. Pretty good. It's a beautiful day out here. In Badgetopia. Did I get my vaccines when it's my obese BMI? No, I didn't get the vaccines, but my obesity didn't play into my uh, eligibility there. No. Roy Zilla. Thanks to the Prime Man Big Flex for it. Appreciate it, dude. Thank you, man. Thank you, thank you. Well, I'm, see, I'm not obese anymore, probably, right? I only weigh, I weighed 192 this morning, so maybe 194, 195 with food in my system. So I'm probably not even obese. I'm probably just only overweight now. So, yeah. I'll get to work with another broken up okay, I have no idea. Oh, probably because of the, the sound got funky for a second. Yeah, <clears throat> trying to trying to tighten up. You know what I'm saying? Got to bring down the body weight a bit. My BMI is hurting my self-esteem. There we go. Am I trying to get 20% body fat with 200 pounds? I mean, I'll come back up eventually. Yeah. I've been crowding the workout recovery. I'm out. I, I don't really don't want to spend my time that way. I'm good. What do you say training is better when being a full-time content creator before? Probably better now. 
This would be a partially because of just like time, right? It just got better over time. And I have my own gym in my house. It's pretty cool too. That's pretty sweet, huh? Yeah. I think my recovery is okay. Gonna run anyone serious when it comes out? Oh yeah, for sure. Definitely. Definitely. Shoulder with the bicep of their tries, I just do it all. All day. I just kind of like just go through the motions here. Go through the routine, right? Here we go. My recovery is mostly like, you know, food, rest, blood flow, right? but it's like, it's uncomfortable and it takes a while. It's a pain in the ass, so like, <laughs> I don't use my time that way, no. But probably could help. If you're like, going all in, maybe you take ice bath. No, did Tolini you know? Legs is like, legs is pretty intense on its own. You have to like infuse intensity into arm day. I'm getting better at it though. If I'm free now. No, I've done ice baths before. Just, it's just not really worth it for me right now. So, but cold showers doesn't really do anything compared to an ice bath, right? But if it makes you feel good and kind of like get your blood flowing, get your breathing up, and you like the way it feels, do it. Definitely. By all means. Yep. How'd that work out, Quillen? How'd it go? I just knocked it out. Not a big FPS guy? I mean, I don't mind FPS. It's not something that I get into as much as like RPG games and stuff. Not on drink now. Nah. Ah. <sighs> oh. I was like, Pee Wee Cars? I haven't played since the, that one night. I want to play more, but I just, you know, get busy, get other stuff going on. But I want to play more for sure, but probably this week. Be great. Get a couple more POE sessions in. Be fun, huh? You just gotta, gotta make sure we get our wow stuff done tonight or today. Then tonight, and then we'll see what's up. But yeah, definitely wanna find ways to get more POE in. I mean, like, I feel like if you're gonna take an ice bath, just take a nap. <laughs> just go get in bed and take a nap. Probably better for your recovery, at least for me. So. But whatever, whatever gets you going for ya. Oh. Oh. But yeah, if you like have like a lot of inflammation after your workout or whatever, maybe an ice bath would be good for you, but I don't know. I'd rather, I'd rather just take a nap. Yeah, get some food and take a nap. Wake up feeling good. Ugh. Uh, woo! Man. 
Yeah, we're gonna get back over there and do some more of these guys. That works, yarders. Yeah, if you like it, go for it. I just don't like... I'm not convinced that if you don't like to take ice baths, I'm not convinced that it's worth it. But it's like, man, ice baths make me feel great. Oh my like, hell yeah. Do that. But it's like, I freaking hate ice baths. I can buy this ice, I have to fill a gigantic tub with water for like 13 minutes, and then get in it and it just sucks. I'm like, okay, then don't do it. I'm like, I'd rather just work out, have a snack, go to bed. Been fighting archer for a little bit, take a nap, been feeling great. Been feeling so good. One of my goals, one of my goals this month was to get my rest to go a little bit better, and it's been helping a lot, so I like it. Uh, I like it. Focus on recovery a little bit this month. A shout out to our sponsor, Hooper, that helped me make that happen. Take a look at my effort, energy balance, and rest balance, and get things dialed in. It's been going great. Feeling good. Oh! Changing the schedule up and changing my priorities just a little bit. Still getting a little plenty of streaming and plenty of work done. Just, you know, restructuring a little bit and get a little bit more rep. It's good. That's the idea of karate, yep. Woo. Oh, like, I'd say like a, like, in this, like when I was running, like when I was a runner, and it was hot outside, going for a run, coming back home, and taking a shower, and then turning the water cold at the end, feel felt great, yeah. But that's different than taking an ice bath. You know what I mean? You're not going to get a lot of recovery benefits from a cold shower. If you like to wake up for the morning by hopping in a cold shower and, you know, getting your heart rate up and everything, awesome. I don't think there's like a lot of magical Wim Hof, you know, benefits to it, you know what I'm saying? So. But maybe, give it a try. You know, give it a try. See if you like it. But if you don't like it, it's probably not really that important to do it. There is a difference between jumping in an Arctic frozen ocean and a cold shower, you know what I mean? There's a difference in terms of the wage freezes your freaking body. Like for example, Sony's a lot more into that hippie stuff than I am. <laughs> but he, he puts a lot more focus on like inflammation and stuff to his situation than mine. I said before, I think it's so funny that Sony, both Sony and Zari are like such hippies when it comes to their fitness. But, but, but neither of them have gone uh, plant-based yet. It's funny. That's pretty funny. Because they're both such hippies. <laughs> uh, I love those guys. Oh, boy. Workout routine? Yeah, just, you can check the VODs, you can check my games channel, or you can tune in every day. But it's basically like um, legs, arms and shoulders, bodybuilding back, heavy pull, uh, chest and arms, and then legs again. Yeah. That's what you're saying. I'm weak for taking cold showers at you do ice baths instead if you want. That is not what I said, but go for it if you want to. Yeah, that's just weird art yarders, I think. A little bit weird.
That's a whole different ball game right there. But yeah, make sure you subscribe to the exclamation mark games channel if you want. Yep. Oh. That'd be awesome. Exclamation mark games. Go show that YouTube channel some love. Pump it up. Daily, uh, you know, full workout uploads. We are crappy, yep. Daily full workout uploads, and then if I ever do like diet updates or physique updates, it'll be on that channel too. <clears throat> yeah, I, I tweeted about it today, but exclamation mark YTs. Thank you, all my channels. We have daily uploads on all of those, pretty much. We're showing some love. Be awesome. That'd be great. You guys can go uh, here. If you guys are on Twitter, you can go favorite and retweet this bad boy for me. Help pump this up a little bit. It'd be great. Talk about what there is. Pretty. I'm actually pretty consistent with the way I train. But every set rep isn't listed always. Tell me, this hammer, this hammer sets and reps. Let me actually do one of these before I do the triceps. Kind of hammer it for a while, right? Yeah. Chest veins? I don't really have chest veins yet. I'm not that lean. Yeah. Not yet. Yeah, like on my bodybuilding workouts, I don't usually like list the weights because it's like because we're just pumping. I, I, I've never really had good chest veins, but maybe eventually we'll build enough muscle in to stick out a little body fat and stuff. Uh, see. Keep on pumping, you know? Oh. I mean, the workouts should be pretty good as I have more calories, right? It'd be nice. Just pumping, yeah. I don't like it. 
I think I'm just not accustomed to it, so it's like uncomfortable, you know? I don't want to be in pain while I'm eating. <laughs> so, but I think eventually you kind of become set, like desensitized a little bit. You can enjoy the subtleties of the, the feeling and flavor, but I just want to really get into the, the spicy stuff. Well, I don't, I don't consume flesh at all these days. I'm gonna do this thing. I've been plant-based for about two years now, I wanna say. It's been really good. I've really liked it. Yeah. I'm not consuming flora, but there you go. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Now we're talking. Oh. Try to pump them up, man. Is that really what you're wondering, Yarders? It's kind of weird, bro. Kind of weird, bro. Ugh. All right. Woo! Here we go. Yeah, put the put the wrist up a couple minutes ago. Yeah. All right. Thanks for that wrist up, dude. Let me hit this set and come hit with the flex. Thank you, man. Welcome back. Bringing it back around for Prime. Appreciate it, man. Yeah. Oh, oh, sounds? Indeed. Construction is taking place. Some games taking place. And a neighbor pool, I believe. Yeah. A little bit of both. Try to build some arms. Neighbor's building a pool. Yeah. Oh yeah. What's up, Rune? And bad juju, bro. Thanks for bringing the good juju our way with the prime big flex for you. Appreciate it, man. Thank you, dude. All right. Maybe cowbell, maybe. When cutting, it's all about low weight and high reps. Yes? No. It's about deficit of calories. Exclamation mark foul balls. Watch that video. <laughs> nope. It is not about your rep range at all. Uh, nope. 
with your diet, you want to keep the weight as, as close to what you've been training with as possible to maintain muscle. Losing fat is about being in, eating less calories than you're using, which is a deficit of calories, that's what I'm talking about, right? So no, not quite. Not quite. So watch that video real quick, Mr. Cinco Jammer. That, what you said is something that people say, it's just not accurate. So if you heard that, we'll get you on the right track, man, but nope. Not quite. Yep, you want to continue to train as hard as you can at deficit to maintain the muscle that you've built. to continue to like lift really heavy and deficit but you gotta try. Yeah. Yeah she is. Get on that deficit man. That's how it works. Yep. Yep. Woo. Now man, it's here retain all the time, Chez. Cypher's been in a deficit training hard. That's how it works. Do you have to have a lot of sexual implementation when you went plant-based? Nah. I've always taken a multivitamin. I mean, plants are pretty nutritious. <laughs> but no, it's like a multivitamin still. No, no, I'm good. But I've always taken a multivitamin. I've always taken vitamins in general. So nothing really has changed besides the fact that I'm me. I don't know if they add anything to my supplementation, you know? Here we go. Oh, man!
Gonna get some negative responses from it, but people wanna know how I feel, that's how I feel. I'll log into the game and have fun. And I wanna be part of the community as it continues to work through all this stuff that's going on, you know? I don't want to abandon the game that I love just because it's going through a tough time. It's not how I am. I am excited to play some variety too, but I, I, I log into WoW and have fun with it. I love it, so we'll keep doing it, you know? Woo! But thanks, man. I'm with you. Arms and shoulders, I think so. Try it! No! Oh. Try it! Once again, sorry if the construction noise is disruptive. It just is what it is. Oh. You know, for my own body, yeah, it's the gangs are rumbling. I feel like I can do arm and shoulders forever, but probably gonna give it about 10 more minutes and wrap it up so we uh, don't push into Jenny's time for the day too much longer. Make sure she gets some time to do her thing. But of course, we'll be back for uh, for afternoon into the evening, into the late night uh, games today too, so. All good. But kind of a good workout today, I'd say. Been getting after it a little bit today. Oh. oh man. Been getting after it a little bit. It's good. That's what we need to be doing. It's pumping. Uh, yeah, DK's pretty good. Our PSG is pretty good in general, yep. Yeah. Oh man, I'm front delts. Woo! Feeling that. Gotta keep up with those too. Uh. Oh. Oh. them suckers, but we're working on it. <sighs> Gotta get these arms to progress somehow. They don't look too bad for being a little bit lower on body weight though, so. Let's keep hitting them. Prime them up with all this work and deficit and then keep adding food. Hopefully it'll Buff up. When you take a bunch of drugs, your shoulders blow up? Yeah, I bet they did. It actually seems like nothing that makes them grow. Even the same training? Well, they're doing the same training. But a bunch of drugs is obviously going to be better. I'm pretty sure I can build shoulders, even though my shoulders aren't like naturally. I just a massive muscle group me. I've been able to build them a little bit so far. But yeah, of course, taking a bunch of drugs is going to make your shoulders bigger. It's gonna make a few things smaller though. And it's gonna fuck up your hormones for the rest of your life, potentially, so. I'll just keep training naturally. Hopefully you're hopefully you're okay after doing that, but Yeah. 
Do this look? Yeah, absolutely. People, people don't take drugs <laughs> for nothing. They ain't work. But I'm going to be able to build me some shoulders and back and traps naturally. But yeah, hopefully, hopefully you're not too torn up from that time. Did you uh, go compete or anything during that time? Or you're just trying to look like a demon for no reason. Ugh. For forearm training, mostly just like grip stuff, like just holding on to heavy stuff, but you can definitely do like forearm flexion training and stuff. You just love rotating back and forth different looks, so you're just taking drugs for no reason. I'm not gonna get too far into that. I don't think that's a good idea, man. But all right, you do you. <laughs> you do you. Stay healthy, bro. Oh. We should put some uh, some progress pictures in the Discord for your different looks. I was gonna say Ariston. Uh, I'm going to ask about forearm training, the arm wrestling and stuff. Woo. You didn't feel a difference in strength when you were on the ropes? That's weird. But yeah, I mean, that stuff has an impact. <laughs> also, remember, yeah, all juiced up. I also look a lot bigger when I eat more food too though, so there's that. I don't know. I'm just not into all that man. How old are you not, dude? I'm glad that you're healthy. But yeah, be smart. Yeah. Be smart. I feel like I'm just changing the food, but That's what I keep on doing, keep trying to make them gains. Yeah. Here we go. Well, how old are you now? And what did you, when did you start? Here we go. Then you didn't, you didn't compete during that 10 years? Why not? Oh, man. acceptable level of fatigue here, I think, on a lot of these lifts, so we're getting there. I mean, I prefer the aesthetic of a classic, but once again, a lot of those physiques don't necessarily resonate. I mean, like, they're cool, but like, as a natural lifter, I like to, I, I do, th I find the natural physiques a bit more interesting to me personally, but no, those guys are insane, but it just doesn't really correspond, you know? To me or what I'm trying to do. I, I do take a little bit of satisfaction in knowing that I've beaten enhanced athletes and bodybuilding competitions as natural though. That's kind of a fun little thing to think about, but yeah. I have not shows now. Dang. 
I mean, I can respect the guys who are putting everything on the line to be the best physique they can be and the enhanced division, but just, you know, I do find the natural athletes to be a little bit more, you know, inspirational personally. So, because that's, you know, more relatable, because uh, that's the same category. It's like, you know, you could admire being like, man, that guy rides a bike real fast. That is an awesome bike rider. But since I compete in foot races, I'm more interested in the foot races, right? This is kind of how it is. They're both endurance categories. They're just, they're just different. They just use different tools to, to play their sport, right? Uh, Mark, you, ca you okay? <laughs> you good? You good, bro? All right, a couple more curls. Arm rest. I don't recommend these ones, not really, no. Yeah, they're they're both sport, but the, the touch controls are really annoying. And you can't turn them off, so, yeah. train all day long. Yeah, as you build that muscle, it probably pumps up more too, yeah. We do probably need to get going here, team. Like I said, it's only past 9.30, so. Probably about that time, I suppose. Maybe a couple more, one more round. I think some triceps. And then bodybuilding back tomorrow. So we can get a little more shoulder work. Tomorrow, a little bit more triceps tomorrow. I like to do triceps on back day. <laughs> On our shoulders. Maybe your arms will get worked a little bit growing a lot, probably. Don't work out today, though. We've been getting after it recently in the gym. I like it. The morning workouts have been great. Uh, Hit it hard for eight hours to try to get my characters capped out in a while and then go from there. But anyway, thanks to the subbies, thanks to the chats, thanks to the good vibes. And I will see you guys, uh, like I said, in about four hours, four and a half hours. Sounds good. See you guys then. Peace.